Hey guys, what's up? We're getting ready for a shooting competition. We're almost here. Um, today's match is a pistol match. Zombies. Uh, I've never done a zombie match before. You've never done a zombie match? No, I haven't. Um, but I've heard really cool things about it. I think there's more headshots in the target practice. Uh, we signed up under the um, 15 round division. So you can only have 15 rounds in each mag or less. There's different divisions, um, so we're pretty excited. It's gonna be fun. Let's get to do some more practice, some more tactical practice, some self-defense, some competition practice, and come out to the range. And I believe there's six stages. Each stage has about 20, 30 rounds. That's what it said. Yeah, about 30 that we use. Um, but basically, we're doing this because one, it's fun, and two, you get to practice your self-defense and. Um, Anytime you do static shooting, that is good. But when you do more dynamic shooting, movements, reloads on the run, it, it, it elevates your heart rate. You throw a timer to induce stress. It's more practical and it's more uh, efficient and realistic in a self-defense situation as as, it, as much as it can be without getting shot at. Obviously, getting shot at is another stress factor. So yeah. we do these matches every now and then. Our older brother got us into it, David. Um, which we'll have him on the YouTube channel soon talking about some really cool tactical stuff and uh, We're gonna record all our matches and so I hope you guys enjoy you guys if, my, if you guys don't know my older our older brother David's in Texas or North Carolina So we're meeting somewhere in the middle in Alabama to do a two-gun match. So I'm pretty excited about that match uh, It's two guns will be pistol rifle PCC pistol yeah. caliber carbine it's a, basically a rifle that shoots nine millimeter um, or any type of low caliber. And we are here, excited. Let's do this. Let's do this. Okay, we're gonna need everybody to paste. Thank you. 
Shooter ready? Stand by! <laughs> it's hard. All right, so basically we've done half the stages so far. I'm not, I'm not too happy. It's all right. We're just having fun. We're just having fun practice. still. We're just having fun. I just, I shot a, a bone, like I shot a, you have to shoot two on the body, one in the head on the bonus shot. And I made a head shot and I missed the body. It's just kind of stupid on my part because a body shot's easier to hit. Head shot's harder and I focus on the head shot and I rush the body shot. So we, that was stage six. That's why I'm kind of kicking myself yeah. in the butt. Well, it's sta it was stage six, but it was for us, it was stage three of six so yeah, far. Yeah, it was our third stage. We're halfway done. Yeah. It was, the stage is called six. It's the last one. Now we're walking it. stage one. Fernie's doing great. Feel but, good. Yeah. I just, it's good training. We're having yeah, fun. Yeah. The shoot house was fun. That was probably my best run. Um, Bernie's smoking it. It's all the Call of Duty. All the Call of Duty, man. Growing sure. up, Call of Duty. Call of Duty. Yeah. Check out the stage, guys. Check out the stage. So, so we're here, stage one, stage four for us, but it's, it's called stage one, it's our fourth stage. And we're about to shoot zombies on infected targets. And this one is like a, it's kind of like a classifier. You, can't, you don't really move, there's not a lot of movement. Yeah. You just shoot them. Yeah. Be good. good. Let's get it. Let's do it. scope was a cheap thing, now the scope cost Stand up. No, I didn't.
zombies. It was zombies, yeah. So I didn't know what to kind. I kind of knew what to expect. But I didn't know what the rules were. I didn't really read them, to be honest. Just went in there and said, "All right, let's get triggered time." Um, so let's talk about performance and results. Bernie. Yeah. I mean, I I felt really good today. Bernie did. Well. I, he did well. I, I felt like a stud today. Yeah, he did well. He. he this is Fernie's. Uh, I want to say like I've done probably like eight to ten matches, including so steel challenge, excluding yeah, maybe steel like matches. Just, we'll call it like ten. I'm pretty sure it's been like ten. Yeah. But you've been doing you've been doing the pistol a lot lately. Yeah. So we did a we did an indoor match last month. Yeah. A month before. It was it like was a May. month and a month and a half ago. Yeah, it was in May. And then April you did the outdoor match. I couldn't go with you. Yeah. Then he actually did a steel match back in January too, but I didn't go with you either. You remember? Is that the one I did with Chris? Chris yeah. and Dennis. Yeah, dude. Yeah. So he's been, yeah, he's been practicing. We we haven't been practicing, but he's been competing, which is kind of like his practice. Yeah. We haven't been practicing like we should, but Bernie did awesome. Yeah, get to see them. I didn't do great. Don't want to talk about my placing. I just I haven't. You don't, you don't practice as much with pistol. I don't practice pistol. Yeah. I like rifle. I know there are some people, oh, it's easier to, to shoot with a rifle. And that's true. But it's like really easy for me to shoot with a rifle. And I can move and I can go fast. With a pistol, I have to like sit down and be very technical. And it's just, I don't play enough Call of Duty. Yeah. So for any place, a lot of Call of Duty. His eye hand, eye hand coordination is great. His aim down sight is great. Yeah. Side on picture is great. So his performance, he did awesome. Me, not so much. So, but it's okay. It was trigger time. Yeah. Had got out there, practice. I had fun. To release a lot of like stress. Stress, stuff. stress reliever. Get get a lot of sunlight. We were covered up so we wouldn't get sunburned. But we got good sunlight, good vitamin D. Went out there, met some really nice people. Uh, the owner of the range knows us very well. Yeah. So. Yeah. What'd you learn today, bro? Um, I learned a lot. I learned I need to improve my pistol. I pretty much need to improve it a lot. But no, I felt good. The thing is, like, I could hit my targets. I can go fast. But when they start telling you, we well, got to hit a headshot, you got to hit three shots in the center, and you got to do it under time, and you got to do it, you know, when they start giving you those dynamics, it, it, it does become a little bit of a sport. Yeah, you know, and I, the whole reason I got into shooting was for self-defense, but I can't complain. Like that's that's what I paid to do, right? I signed up for it. And I knew that. So, but I felt good. I felt like I need more pistol practice. I need more, you know, more time on the range. I need to do. I felt great on the plate rack. I had a plate rack, right? I felt great. My my stability was good. My my recoil management was shaking in the beginning. And then, guys, I switched guns. I, the first three stages, I used one gun I just purchased a few months back. And then the last three stages, I used another gun that I'm more comfortable with. And there was a difference. I don't know if you noticed it, mm -hmm. but I felt like, more confident. Yeah. Immediately, there was a big difference when you were using that uh, well, other gun that Walter, you're... Yeah, the Q5. So there's that. So I got into shooting... The reason I got into shooting was because of our older brother, David. And so I'm trying to use focus. I got to focus more on fundamentals, just like in jujitsu. It all comes back to fundamentals. Anytime I slowed it down, I was better. Um, but yeah, sites were on target. So we got some instructionals planned. We got some seminars planned. We got some content planned and just really give you a look at our daily lives as we get ready for competitions, whether it's jujitsu competitions or, you know, shooting competitions, show you what we do to prepare for them, give you some pointers. Um, if you've never grappled, where you can start. If you've never shot a gun, where you can start. Um, if you have grappled, maybe introduce you to the shooting community. And if you have shot and never grappled, introduce you to the jiu-jitsu community because I feel like it's a really good bridge um, and it's two important skills you need to have um, to just be a better person, um, a better fighter, um, a better parent, a better everything. Just really, really dig deep inside and be, be a better man, be a better woman uh, for your not only your spouse, but your children, your siblings, your friends. And, you know, as Tim Kennedy says, be the sheepdog among the sheep to protect the sheep from the wolves, you know, do the do your duty. 
Um, and if you're watching this stuff and you feel that instinct, that innate desire to help and serve and to protect, then you're probably part of that 1% that's meant to protect the other group of people that aren't meant to protect themselves or others. And I'm not getting into a debate. It's just, those are just facts. It's been proven. Most people cannot defend themselves because they either choose not to um, or they have no innate desire to, to, to do that. Um, so a lot of it is genetic characteristics. A lot of it is conditional too. Um, and it's just, those are just facts. So if you have that desire within you, you need to do your duty and you need to find the closest Jiu-Jitsu gym, the closest shooting range, and you need to, you need to become a member of those places, help support the community and help protect the community as well. And then this will make you become better, better for yourself, better for your community, better for your family, and just better for society overall. Awesome. That was a good rant. All right, guys, questions, drop them in the comments. Share this video. Tell us what you like. Tell us what you don't like. And we'll do our best to improve our channel for you guys. Hope you guys enjoy. Thanks for watching.